uh, only losing to Void, Void I believe. Yeah. So uh, he has a really strong Fox and Pichu doing really well in SoCal. But uh, we got Schroeder, man. Schroeder's been doing really well in Arizona, too. I believe he got top 64 at Genesis 2. Yeah. Right. Still, I mean, for sure, you know, sort of probably one of the higher places, but you can't play with that. Top 64, and I think Yeah, short. 2000, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's pretty big. big. That's the first really huge, like, smash tournament. Smash Ultimate uh, Major. But uh, I really want to see more Schroeder because, like, oh, oh. oh see, no. I was just about to say, like, I really want to <laughs> see more Schroeder because Amazing Greninja. But I like, completely disregard that. He definitely just down there to his own doom. I don't, I don't know where he was going with that one. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Schroeder is definitely one of the better Greninja players out here. His character uh, is... I still feel a little bit underrated. Not a lot of people are like talking about how good Greninja is. Yeah, Greninja definitely received some buffs aside from visuals. But like Greninja is pretty good. I mean, his percents that he's able to kill with outright are pretty strong. So you're right, definitely underrated for Greninja. Well, let's see what Stroke can do to put Greninja on the map here in now. For real. Oh, nice down so that's nice. Yeah. Even with Light Fox not gonna kill though, that's surprising. Yeah. So I do like the fact that Stroke's kinda taking it back a little bit, trying to keep Eon. Especially after just being on that stock, Eon's gonna go ahead and run through it nice, and he can be up there on the ledge. Now, it, it's really rough. I feel. Oh, he popped his head. Oh, oh my goodness. I like it. The substitute, that's crazy. He's going for this really off, uh, insane off stage play, but nice down tilt. So, something about the new game, uh, being able to do anything out of a dash. Uh, being able to do a dash down tilt or a dash up tilt with Greninja is so strong. Especially down tilt because he gets follow ups out of that. Uh, if this saw, uh, you know, sure get put advantage of that right now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, given e Eon an early, like, stop lead, that early SD is kind of rough. Because Eon's so good at playing defensive, especially when he has a lead. So, uh, yeah, Shrove's going to have to do a lot to make this comeback happen right now. Yeah. Okay, Eon with the reflection base. This is edge guard here. I like when he sets up for the back here, trying to reach Stolar's oh. drop from the ledge. So, so scary. He's having, he's, Stolar's having a hard time. Just trying to work against Eon, but he's doing a really good time just trying to survive. Like, he's not really getting hit by anything that's going to kill him just out yet. Yeah. Um, see what I'm saying? Like, he's really keen to, like, okay, I need to play this safe. I'm going to go for a new chair. I need to shield immediately because Eon is not going to give me an opportunity to breathe. Yeah, he's done a really good job bringing this one back, honestly. Oh my oh, goodness, that was, that, oh, that was so risky. I so close to landing right the hitbox, but the straight back to take out that stock. Uh, not too terrible for Shorter to bring this one back. Only because he did a pretty decent job with racking up the percent. If he yeah. can get a technical tier, could be better, but... I mean, he has me on it in 93%. He's able to get an opportunity at the ledge. Oh, a pretty early one for shoulder, and he likes to go for the upper. Almost gets the floor there. I thought he was going to go for another chase with the upper, but okay, it comes a box up there. So much percent. Does even more than 16 oh, in the game. Oh, my goodness. Shine's like, oh, it's not there ready for the Yeah, the Shine's definitely back in this game. There's way more knockback in this game. I'll take, I'll take the Shine Spike. I'm I'll take the shine over Fixbox. I can still do care, drag down off stage, and uh, get some early stocks that way, actually. Fox just has a lot of tools in this game. You can't see him a lot of these earlier, or sorry, he's a deeper bracket run. Dash attack, Gage, Shoulder looking for an opportunity just to get away from Neon. He does. I love his use of that running down tilt, man. It's so good for Green Oh, great. Placing on Neon's defensive option there, trying to retreat back. The one thing I do like they did about Greninja though is they buffed side B. I was excited because I'm laughing every time I'm like, oh, oh smash. so strong! And that'll do it! Stroder it robs Eon of game one! Came all the way back. Stroder, yeah, even after that super early uh, SD, still playing so solid, able to bring it all the way back. Really good use of the Greninja there, and uh, that's uh, pretty telling. Like, when you have such a big lead, like your opponent gives you a, basically a free stock and you still lose, yeah. that can really mess with your mental. Uh, Eon, He's, uh, I don't know, he really, I really think he had flat out shift from like a loss, especially mid set, but man, that's kind of a big game to drop. Yeah, that is. Especially Eon with the one in the lead here. It takes two to dance. Shorter eventually turned things around and took the lead there. We'll see what game two brings out for Eon. He did a lot of right in game one, but I'm not going to lie, like I said, Shorter kind of took a step back and understood how Eon was going to play that out. And he was able to get punished oh, there. Oh, no and he tech. immediately stopped it. No oh, tech. and going for the substitute edge guard as well, man. Sure to put it on so much percent trying to get that stock off. Uh, really good edge guard. I think if he could have, I think if he angled his uh, substitute down, he could have potentially got a spike after that. Yeah. That's the thing about substitute you also have to remember is that you can angle which way you come back. So you have to be super keen on which way your opponent's going to mix it up. And Charlie, or Eon, 
I do it all. I, I, so, mix, I mix them up sometimes too. Hey man, Eon, Eon is low-key Echo Fighter. That's how I feel. That's how I really be out there, dude. It feels that way. Well, Eon, I don't know about in this game though. No, Eon no, is like putting in massive amounts of work with uh, Fox and PG. Oh, oh, but Schroeder, man, he's out Schroeder there putting so deep. No, he wasn't even scared of that illusion at all. That was crazy. Nice up throw. Wow, that's the thing about slowest that, down air of all time. That's thing about down air though, the minute you see him go for down air when he's going like that, that hitbox will last all the way down. Stroder, man, he's just playing so well on the stock. Like, even after the first game where it looked like Eon pretty much had control, right now it's kind of switching around between these two Oh, buttons. definitely that back air, Eon pushing out for it, finally able to even land it. One thing that Stroder went for is a spot dodge, and I feel like Eon was uh, participating in that. Yeah. Still finding himself behind here, and Stroder's been doing a really good job keeping the Fox at bay. Oh my goodness. Every time I see Greninja land in neutral air, I see that up smash in my uh, my peripheral. I see it coming really soon. <laughs> Gotta watch it though. Let's talk about the run up down tilt, man. Stroder put in the work just a few seconds ago. Oh, he's coming out of that up That could have been really big for Eon. Down tilt, up smash yeah. again. He's just waiting for that perfect opportunity to get that hit confirmed to land. So good for Greninja. Yeah. I am anticipating a possible character from Eon that might save this game, even if he loses there. Okay, nice. Pichu might be in the cards, but right now it's getting harassed by all these others. There's so much percent. Still a little Shorter, too early to so call good. out Eon, though. He has a lot of opportunities against Shoulder. Comes in with Dash Hack, misses the up tilt. Would have been an opportunity, but Shoulder instead gets his combo of his own. Yeah, really good anti air. Drag oh. down, gets the tech out in time to avoid the hard follow up. And but that'll do like, it. In down tilt, up smash, two stock from Stroder. So strong right now, yeah. up 2 0 against Eon. And that's what a pretty big statement to make. Eon is one of the people that you would expect to be like top eight in the top eight. I think out here uh, putting in work to put him in at nothing short of top eight. Yeah. I would love to see Stroder in uh, a deeper bracket run as well. I, I really like the Greninja. And he also has a lot of other really strong characters too. I believe he has a really strong Lucina and Luigi as well. So, uh, I don't yeah. know, man. This might be a, a good tournament for Stroder. Are you going to lie? No, no okay, I switch. I do respect that Eon had a lot of things going on for him, I'm not going to lie. He was really close game one, game two. He, it's one of those things that Stroder was looking to punish uh, Eon on the landings. He caught him on the Fox Illusion. Right, he's able to go for a big punish, take a lot of percent against Stroder. Yeah. See what game three will do, do or die time for Eon. I honestly feel like the Pichu would be a pretty hard pick just because Ninja has the range and can kill really early. Like two things that Peach just tends to struggle with him, so I'm not super surprised to see him stick with Fox here, but he's gonna have to do a lot to make this like reverse trio happen. I feel it. Because uh, I don't know, one thing about Eon, he's so good at like playing up the defense and yeah. he's playing that hit and run type of style, but Shore is also really strong at uh, defense play as well, so I think yeah. that's been throwing him off a little bit. He kind of forcing him to change his usual play style up. Nice, gets the nair into the grab with the down throw. Yeah, looking for the punisher and able to find it with a dash attack, but not get it. Not getting much of a follow up afterwards. Oh, oh that so was so scary, close. Man. He's always right in that percent range to make that down tilt up smash happen, but air forward air, it's barely killing. Barely gonna live that one. Side B, Ooh. there it is, into the upper, not gonna kill Stroder. Still surviving, but it's gonna be deep. Stalls with the illusion, gets to the platform safely. Oh my goodness, going for a potential illusion. Follow up, okay. He stick that back air just for a hot second in the stock too. Yeah, he's been really good at connecting that so far in this set. Nice, and the jab is going to be some 10-20%. Gets as much as he can with the lasers, and now we're going to rack it up. All right, Neon doing a good job of holding on to this stock. We're racking up the safe percent. Oh, barely gets out of that nair follow but the core air, really strong hit. Stroder able to squeeze himself into that forward air, catching E on there. Let's see what his reaction is going to be. Good parry from E on, gets the plus frame to the out tilt. Solid punish. Stroder strikes back, almost getting that out smash. Wouldn't have killed, but have done some percent in another edge guard situation. Yeah, as long as it forces Fox off stage, it's good for uh, Stroder, but he's barely missing that stuff. He's been falling out of these up airs, man. That's got to hurt us, E on. No tech chase, but get the dare. Oh, oh that was crucial. Nice, gets right under him, but wow, really good positioning on that forward air from Stroder. And gets a get up attack from the ledge. Okay, keeping it competitive here, oh. calls out the illusion. Really good stuff here. That's one thing that Eon has to pay attention to. Stroder has been calling out the illusion even after the illusion gets the landing punish there. Oh my goodness, was he going for it? That was me. That's crazy. Alright, what a pretty big setup, too. Oh, down to it. Oh, not finding so it this time. 
Yeah, oh, oh man, this light this box to down tilt up smash is, is just a really good combo for Strutter right now. Oh. Down tilt, okay. The fall wow. the up air, but Falls right through him, nice. Eon finds the up air of his own instead. Now watch is still very close to dying here in Shores and really good at finding the kill as well. No tech though. Up there, oh, yeah, even with the DI away, still gonna be enough to kill. Only took 28, 28%. Not bad at all for sure to bring this one back. Okay, has the pin of the ledge. Like Wait for angle. something. I like it too, because he also angles the shield. You can do up out of shield immediately, or super out of shield after you get the light parry, but it's still double, double up air, man. That's the damage. Yeah, even without getting the sweet spot of the up air, still does a 10%. Okay, at the ledge. Oh, here. wow. The latest turnaround grab of all time. Oh, wow. Nice use of the up air. It actually looked like Dion was trying to get the down to the two frame there. Narrow smash is definitely on the table, but he can't be too telegraphed with it because I think Strider definitely sees it coming. I like it. Dion going for the cross up there. Doesn't find the up tilt. Looking for a tech chase. <laughs> I'm all oh, there. It is. Nice. Pressures the shield with the back air. Forces Strider to uh, roll out of there and calls it out with the up smash. Yeah, pretty good stuff to Dion. I'm not going to hide there. It was pretty tough for Eon, I'm not gonna lie. You can even tell with the intensity of the music yeah. that counter pick. I did like how Eon was, like you said, he was able to pressure Strider a little bit more with that back air for pushing Strider to go for a roll. Definitely one of the things that helped him out that game. We'll see how it goes though for the next one. He like, finally got the point. Yeah. Bring out the game four. Just one step closer to making the reverse 3 0 happen, but again, Strider is a very difficult opponent, and uh, I really. Feel that Spurs is going to just come back and adapt to this game. So it's yeah. going to take even more for Eon to uh, win this one and bring it to like a game five. Got the time sticky pick here as well. No longer a stage that has a low ceiling in this game. Actually, yeah. one of the higher ceilings as far as the legal stage goes. So probably helping himself live a little bit longer. Not going to get as many early kills as he did before. It's kind of one of those things you have to assist with. You do have a higher ceiling, but platform extension is going to be very prominent, especially for both characters. Nice, use that down tilt to connect. Oh, bonks his head a little bit there. Forced. Oh, no. Oh, man. Forced air dodge, Barry. Definitely didn't want to get hit by Eon. Honestly, you wouldn't have died. Oh, oh. wow. The angle on the down smash. Just poked right over the ledge and hit him before he could even grab it. He gave it the extra charge just to make sure he could do all that. Wow. He definitely made up for that FD. Like, he didn't even let Eon get a lead at all. As you should, man. Best that you're in the game. Is moving really well. Very fluid play with the Greninja. And usually, like, I'm surprised he's doing this well. It's, I just feel like Fox is just a hard matchup for Greninja in the first place just because his uh, frame is a little bit better and yeah. he combos him really hard. But Rose is facing really well and avoiding like, a lot of uh, high damage combos for the most part. But oh man, trying to land with that down air is just being juggled oh, all and he over keeps the place. Upper, I respect it, but in this situation, though, Sword is spending more damage to Ooh, himself and the stock. Yeah. Very patient play. Works out for Eon. Turns out a uh, huge juggle into a kill. Nice anti air up smash. Nice, down tilt off air. Oh, oh and he waits for the air dodge. The air dodge. Man, Man Storr is mad good for that one. Crazy. He does not let Eon get a big lead, man. Even though it looks like Eon just doesn't get hit that much and he gets a kill, Storr immediately brings it back. Yeah, keeping it close. Storr doesn't want to give Eon percent for the lead here. He's able to finally come back towards Eon, almost evening up the percents. Nice. Oh, that was close. That, that was super scary. Oh man, Stars definitely got momentum right now. Eon's trying to just fight back and keep himself in this set, just bringing it to a game five. But Stars is putting up a really good fight. Does get that dash attack to connect, but what can he do at the ledge here? Oh, so slow, but still gets the dash attack. That's going to be so much damage. Yep, 100% there to Stars. Eon to get the right edge guard here. You could find the stock. I'll watch it though, Shores. Oh, so slippery, very risky illusion. Gets punished really hard for it. Oh, oh, down to, oh, oh, he missed the forward air. Yeah, he missed both forward airs and oh, the back nice. air. No, we're still living. Still though, very close to Kilbert's and try to get the two frame down smash. Try to get the pin at the ledge. No, we can get back on for three. This is going out to the wire. Eon down to the up smash. You gotta watch out for it too. Yeah. Oh, there it is. For it. Nice. I like it though. Immediately, Strutter went for another option. He sent in the Eon to go in. Oh, oh covered the roll the from the ledge. Really good spacing there from Strutter, taking it 3-1.